Hello everybody, I'm Chef Jeff from Smith's. Okay, everybody's heard of the Texas sheet cake, the fudge one really, it's super delicious, really good. Today we're gonna make a version of that. We're gonna make a peanut butter version. So a peanut butter, Texas sheet cake, delicious, simple, let's get right to it. Okay, all right, so let's go to our uh, wet ingredients first. Um, what we're gonna do, this is a little bit different than usual. So in this uh, container here, I've got some butter, water, and peanut butter that I've melted. I'm gonna put that in my bowl here. It melted it and then stirred it and then let it cool for a bit. Okay, so next thing I'm going to add here is some buttermilk, followed by some vanilla. Give that a quick stir with my mixer. Okay, and the next thing is going to be my eggs. And this is the reason why you want it to cool off a little bit is because we're going to be adding eggs. We don't want to scramble eggs. So let's cool it off first. It should be just fine. Give that a quick mix. Okay, that's come together. Now it's ready for our dry ingredients. Um, earlier on in the segment, I prepped my pan by putting some a piece of parchment paper on a sheet pan, sprayed it with oil, and then I put some flour on it. I just needed to mention that really quick, just so when we pour the batter on there, it bakes and we can get it out easily. So that's already prepped for me. Dry ingredients. Okay, so in this bowl, I have some flour, and then here's some baking soda and then salt. And I'm just gonna whisk that together. And then actually, before I do anything else, I need to add sugar to this. My goodness, I knew I'd forget something. Let's get our sugar in there. Want it to be sweet and delicious, otherwise it wouldn't be. I'm glad I remembered that. Okay, the fun, the nice part about this recipe is none of that really matters. This kind of all just throws together. The order doesn't necessarily matter, um, unlike a lot of recipes. So don't worry if you forget to add something, it's not gonna totally ruin it. So we're gonna add part of our dries. And then I'm going to go ahead and add the rest and then give that a stir till it comes together really quickly. Okay, just about there and it looks good right now. Okay, okay, so my oven's preheated to 420, actually yes, it was 425. And then I'm going to go ahead and pour this on my pan like so. It seems really thin and that's okay. Trust me, it's going to work out. Okay, get that out of the way. And then this will go ahead and go in the oven. I'm not gonna take it in the oven. Um, I'm just gonna set it behind me, but you get the idea. Okay, so that's gonna go in the oven. And then out comes a delicious cake that I did earlier. It looks fantastic, looking really good. Now we need to work on the icing. Okay, so this is super easy. So I've got some uh, powdered sugar in my bowl here. I'm gonna make a well. And then earlier I also melted together some butter and some peanut butter, and then some brown sugar. I'm gonna go ahead and pour that right in the middle, like so. A little bit of brown sugar's waiting for me there. And then next I'm gonna add my buttermilk, and then some vanilla. And then really just take a whisk and then just start stirring and stirring. And eventually what you get is this delicious frosting right here that just comes out beautifully. If it, if it seems too thick or too thin, just add um, if it's too thin, add a little bit of powdered sugar. If it's too thick, just go ahead and add some milk. So I'm going to put that on my Texas sheet cake. And then I'm just going to spread that on there. You get the idea though, right? My mouth is watering. I don't even want to wait to, to dig into this. But you spread it out. Make sure your cake is cool before you spread it on there. And then just spread your frosting on your cake. But then what you're ended up with is just this lovely little bars of cake, peanut buttery goodness. They're super good. Perfect for the neighbors, perfect for the kids, perfect for breakfast. Either way, you can find all of these ingredients at your local Smiths. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for shopping. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye.